thanking the uh, AIMS NEI Secretariat for pushing for this alumni reunion, the first ever after uh, 10 years of AIMS. Uh, it's very exciting to be here. Uh, we should remember we are all representatives of all the other alumni who were unable to come. There are only 140 here. There are 530 alumni. And so what we want to make sure is this is just a warm-up. And the next alumni re reunion, we want to have 500 people here. Of course, by that time, there will be another couple of hundred. You should realize that Ames is driven by the students, starting with the kids in, in, uh, in schools, in places like Osutu, and with the, the students in centers like Ames. That's what drives the center. That's why people like myself and Barry and Thierry, that's what motivates us. It's you, and this whole alumni reunion is about you. And not just you, but the generations who are following you, the generations of kids in, in villages who one day will be great scientists and engineers. I just wanted to say that you are the most important people in this room. You are the future of Africa. And Africa desperately needs your imagination. You know, what makes the difference between people who strive and those who stagnate is imagination. Some of you will be using creative imagination to come up with solutions, to come up with ideas that had never existed before. Others will be using the synthetic imagination that is processing ideas that Mandela, that Nyerere, that Shahanta Diop have never been able to implement. Processing those ideas into new combination of breakthrough for this continent to become a global player. I believe in Africa and I want you to believe in Africa. I'm serving this continent and I know that in our lifetime we will celebrate the Africa's renaissance. We will celebrate Africa as a global player, as a respected continent. History has shown us and is still showing us that mathematical sciences matter. And I want to leave you, brothers and sisters, AIMS alumni, Africa's youth, with the words of Steve Jobs. Do not let the noise of others' opinion drown out your own inner voice. Follow your heart. Follow your imagination. Stay hungry, stay foolish. I thank you. Ames does funny things to you. <laughs> Over the last five minutes, instead of preparing my speech, I was working out what is the shortest distance between that seat and this place. <laughs> should I walk around? Or should I? So, this is science. <laughs> Gone man. <laughs> Our alumni are extremely important to us. They are important to, because they are the proof of what we are able to do. Okay? And staying connected with them and staying uh, in touch helps us to uh, adjust our own model slightly when needed, but it also helps us to provide opportunities to channel them in areas where we've found that they, they are possibilities. So uh, to build a net, to help sustain and build a network, these, uh, these reunions uh, will play an important role, I'd say. Each time as a NAMES alumni you come back to Cameroon, you go to university, it's like you have to give a small speech or a small talk to tell people what the opportunities are, um, what they can do in the future after graduating in Cameroon. And AMS is one of the key opportunities now that it's also replicating across the whole continent. One important thing is networking. When people work in isolation, oftentimes it is hard to break through. But when you have these connections, people from different uh, backgrounds, people from different cultures, people from even different scientific fields, and then you get to network, it makes a whole lot of a difference. Uh, I want to be ambassador of AMS and uh, encourage people to see that there are, pe they are people that are beside everyone, every African society, to help them to change their mind, of, their way of thinking, to, to develop their country through the mind, to change the way you think and see that you are important in your society. You see, EMS has given me an opportunity. Within a short period of time, I finished my master's. 
After this, I am going to do a research master's or do a PhD direct. So assuming in five years time, I will have finished my studies. So the remaining, like after that, I want to be an expert in biomathematics, do a lot of research in that area, do a lot of contribution. So I think it will be very, very okay. It was really a great experience uh, during my time at EMS because um, I had to, uh, I encountered people from different countries which I didn't know about. It was my first time to talk to someone from another African country. Yeah, and we, I discovered a lot about them and the, the way of thinking, the cultures and every other thing. Yeah, when I see companies like BlackBerry supporting AIMS, I go, this is absolutely fantastic. At the end of the day, it's about the students. And um, when you meet these students, um, I was just chatting with one who had to live in the jungle for three years uh, during the Civil War in uh, Congo Brazzaville. His family didn't even know he was alive. You know, and he came out of the jungle three years later uh, survived and then was able to get into some training and then get accepted to Ames and now he's developing software uh, for an African uh, company. I mean, that's inspirational. What really um, struck me at the time is, is um, the spirit and, and um, you can really see that the, the sparkle in the eyes of, of the students who have um, graduated from Ames because I think something special, special is happening to them while they attend courses at Ames. They, they, they get transformed and they, they're very inspiring and, and get a sense of, yes, they have a future and they can do something about it. And that's, I think, yeah, really what, what makes Ames special to me. It's a human dimension on top of the science and the excellence that they do in math. And <laughs> I think the degree of interest in the subject matter that the students are involved in is really great, but more importantly, how they see themselves as future leaders uh, with high integrity, commitment to excellence, hard work, networking, are all the kind of qualities that one would like to see in leaders. It's an enormous engagement of the students. They have, uh, I would suppose, much more than many German mathematicians, a sort of macro uh, uh, sight of what mathematics can be. It's, it's also social sciences, it's also uh, historical sciences, it's also statistics. So it really is a much, much broader view, and I think the the students uh, that talk today were really very ma mature compared to many other mathematician, mathematicians in Germany. An, an, an African, I mean, since the pyramid building times, we haven't had an institution like this. And it's nice for us to, as part of our renaissance, to have an institution like this that will lead and drive us back to where we should be, building pyramids or, or similar. <laughs> There's one uh, asset uh, which the AIMS students have, and that is their community of uh, students, of alumni across the continent. So if you are working in Malawi, say, it's a small country, and you want to start something, it's very difficult because you're just by yourself. Uh, but you have friends in, in Zambia, in Tanzania, in Kenya. You have friends all over the continent, in fact with whom you can uh, network and try to develop something. Uh, and this is an important aspect about developing science in Africa. Well, in, in my view, Ames represents the, really the best, the best example of, uh, of individuals uh, developing leaders for the future. Um, it's, it's a wonderful program that goes out, goes out of its way to identify uh, young men and women with great potential in the mathematical sciences and related fields and provides them a profound experience. They, they emerge uh, better educated, but more importantly, energized, uh, confident, and leaders for the future of their countries. The most important is that the skill they acquire open their minds and uh, give them the confidence to say, okay, we can take a risk, we can do this, that all is possible.
this helps me to keep in touch with people and possible co collaborations will be po uh, will in future. Uh, it's to make it possible, like, you keep in touch with people and in, in future maybe this person is working on something and you can get together and um, maybe you meet in some years to come and st stuff like that. Whatever the young person is best talented, Africa needs to build up a, a basic research level with good publications in order to be recognized worldwide. Africa needs business people. I mean, there's so many opportunities. It's not one thing that I can advise, but they should follow their heart and feel what they can do best. And a place like Ames, it's almost like African students going outside Africa, but inside, but staying inside Africa. It assembles students from different parts of the continent on the same spot to learn the same thing and learn from each other. The spirit is different. And so their opportunities, their ability to work inside Africa is by far more than that of those who came before them. So just in, uh, in terms of standards and uh, mechanics, we need many more mathematicians and engineers in Africa. And I don't have the concrete numbers, but I remember one estimate that said South Africa produces 2,000 engineers each year, but needs 8,000. I'm not sure how, how this was based, but it just shows that there is a severe shortage of, in particular, quantitative science. It's really kind of magical, and I mean, I think, you know, we all, I mean, hearing the stories of some of the, the students and the graduates, sort of the struggles and the challenges that they've overcome in their life, um, and the belief that, you know, maybe some of their, their family members, and also now that they're here at Ames, that the Ames family has in them, which allows them to sort of really sort of fulfill the kind of potential they have, is, is, is remarkable. I think uh, as they are uh, students in uh, applied mathematics, uh, everything is open to them because uh, all the engineering and scientific disciplines involve applied mathematics. So they can go for mechanical uh, sciences, uh, water resources sciences, electrical, uh, uh, mining, whatever. There are plenty of mathematical applications. Many of these social science problems, they really come from here. I mean, we, we all have a connection with, with problems that we see, be it in health, be it in education, uh, be it in poverty, with micro-entrepreneurship and so forth, problems with financing. So these are all problems uh, that usually come from observation. So you're always, when you're in social science, when you work in social science, you have a personal experience component to it. And there are things that just move you. And it's very good to work in something that moves you, where you have a very good interest. That's how you can be productive when you get be passionate. Nothing will stop the hand of God upon us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Clarice. Let me uh, really congratulate uh, Ames, one, uh, for having survived for the period uh, uh, in which it has uh, been in existence, and secondly, for the contribution that it is making to the building of the knowledge base of the continent of Africa. I close by quoting a, no a Nobel Physics Laureate, Steven Weinberg, who said, exploring the outer frontiers of our knowledge of nature is in one respect like war. It pushes modern technology to its limits, often yielding new technology of great practical importance. And these are the lessons we must contribute to invest in aims pushing frontiers, but giving effect to practical impact on development in our societies. Thank you very much, and my congratulations to you.